Jocelyn would like to speak to us. I'm Jocelyn, I'm a grateful recovering addict. Jocelyn. Um, I'm new into the recovery. I only have about 45 days, but those 45 days I do share. It was a long and hard journey, that's for sure. I've been to about 15 rehabs. Um, I have three younger brothers and a seven-year-old daughter. My mom stood behind me through it all. She's never left my side. She's my rock. I've lost a lot of friends due to addiction. Um, I got high with my stepdad for many years. And um, although, you know, I thought that it was a great relationship, as he's laying in Allegheny General Hospital in a coma, I have to think back to the fact that that wasn't a relationship at all. I lost my, my biological father last week. And that was really hard, but I didn't pick up. And now I'm losing my, my stepfather. Within the next week, I'm sure he'll be gone. But I don't have the desire to get high. Because I have three younger brothers that need me. A seven-year-old daughter that can't bury her mommy. And a mother that shouldn't have to bury her daughter. I fought for so long and so hard to get where I am today. That I can say truly, like, NA has brought me to where I am. If it wasn't for the meetings and the women that I've met in recovery, I wouldn't be where I am. I'm respected today. I'm allowed back in my mother's house. My mom tells me she's proud of me today. You know, my brothers count on me today. They actually want to be around me. And I'm not sneaking off to every bathroom I can find just to get the next one. It's really hard to stay clean when you're going through a lot of things like I'm going through. Especially when you have the mental health problem, which I have. But I keep in mind, and I remember those days where I was in the trap house with no electricity, no pipes, no running water, standing under a lantern trying to put a needle in a, in a vein that wasn't there. I keep that in mind because I don't want to go back to that. I want to get custody of my daughter back. I was 15 years old when I gave birth to her and I was the best mother ever. Now at 24, I can't even tell you how to be a mom. It's more like I'm a sister to her and it hurts. Because there's times where when I'm around her, I just like can't even be around her. I get I, like, I'll be like, oh my God, get away from me. Because I don't know what to do. But the women in the rooms have, are, are slowly teaching me that it's okay to feel like that. My condolences go out to everybody that has buried somebody due to this addiction because I know what it feels like. I watched my stepdad overdose in front of me and it traumatized me for life. And now that I have to bury him in a couple days, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. My heart's broken. My mind is just a mess. But as an addict, I don't think about picking up drugs. All I think about is crying into my mommy's arms. At 24 years old, I can still say that I can cry into my mommy's arms and everything will be okay. So anybody that's struggling with addiction, that wants to get help, I advise you to go out and get that help. As much as it sucks sitting in rehab, trust me, I've done it so many times and it sucks. It's worth it at the end because you'll come out a whole different person and your family will see it and you'll be back to the same person that you once was. And today, I'm not just Jocelyn, I'm not Jossie that my family loves and I'm proud to be that person.